we used JR's corner access to get down here, so a big shout out to them. So we just moved spots. Didn't even get everything set up yet, we got another tip up, so we've been letting it go for a while. Anybody want to hold it? Take a pit. Good? Yeah, it's a good fish. Just slow, just slow. Don't give it any slack. It's kind of swimming towards me. It feels like a good one. nice red lake walleye there. So uh, we just missed the fish over there and I was walking back to the shack and I just watched this one pop up as I walked by. So hopefully there's something on this. Got it? Yep. It's... Slow, slow, slow. So we caught a fish off camera because we were jigging in the shack and I didn't have the camera ready. So what we did since we were off camera is we moved another tip up out this way because we were catching them all over here. So it's only like 10 o'clock and we're cooking right over there. So hopefully get some more before the end of the day. So this is day two of our trip and it's eight o'clock in the morning. We just got out here, couldn't even get the shack set up. So we got the auger on it so it doesn't blow away. And I already got a nice 16 inch walleye. We got three tip ups out, we're gonna do some jigging. If he's on the second wall of the day. So we're gonna take him out. The lines off to the side of the whole set usually means it's on, but I'm not feeling much. It's a little guy, but he's on. So we finally got the shack set up and now I'm just going back through and checking all the tip ups and making sure they're perfect foot off the bottom and we're going to put a bobber next to the reel today so when we pull up the fish you don't have to reset it just reel it up to that little bobber so hopefully that'll work out fine. So we noticed this yesterday too where we had a spell where we weren't catching fish for about half hour so we just got this flag after it's 8.30 now we got out here about 7 so. Well, this is a good fish. Just a bobber. He's swimming right to me, not fighting at all. He's head shaking crazy. Well, this is a nice fly. Almost missed him at the hole. It's a nice wallet there. It's probably. 18, 19 inches. Okay, so this is the first fish we got on this tip up closest to the shack. And I'm gonna shake it. Yeah. It's a little guy, but he's on. Oh, it's a little walleye. <laughs> Alright, so got him on hook. It's a little smaller, so we're gonna let him go. Swam right away. the bite's been slowing down a bit since this morning, but we've been catching them on tip-ups a lot, not doing much digging. Got him? It's, oh yeah. It didn't fight at first, but it's, it's a decent wall. Maybe 17. Oh, the hook already fell out. Pretty good. One thing we've noticed is yesterday we were fishing during a storm and we were catching a lot of fish. And now today it's kind of nice weather, kind of got nice gray overcast, but we aren't catching as much fish as we were yesterday. But I noticed the same thing yesterday where 
we had a hot really afternoon bite and this is two tip ups in a row now we got doubles and we missed the last two but hopefully there's something on this my dad just caught a nice wally over there now i'm gonna take mine now he's on there oh this is a good fish so this is going to be the end of our trip on Red Lake, and like I said before, JR's Corner Access was a huge help. So if you're planning on a trip to go to Red Lake, you should definitely go through them. They, they have a nice spot on the lake where uh, they have a couple good structures, so this is the end of this video. We'll see you next time.